you're here with Speakeasy with Simone. I'm out here on the west side of the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, and we have just unveiled a beautiful seascape mural that's one of many projects going on in Atlantic City having to do with the arts. I'm here with the artist. Mitsu Overstreet. You just did this beautiful mural. You didn't just do it. It was just revealed to us. Uh Uh-huh. And I just asked you, I said, are you satisfied? And you said yes. Uh Uh-huh. Now, tell me, did the city ask for something in particular when it came to this mural, or they just gave you the space and said, we want something that has to do with the sea? Well, yeah, they gave me a direction. They, They said that, you know, we really wanted to highlight the natural beauty of the area. Also, like aspect to to what's happening underwater also in, in the ocean and w- it's basically a full spectrum of of the wildlife and nature here i see now this is a sperm whale or a humpback humpback i've never seen a humpback whale, <laughs> humpback whale? whale? in this area well there, there's i pulled it from like a couple of of uh news references online uh, they 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 do appear not often but Mm -hmm. they do appear in the area i know down in cape may they have whale watches Mm -hmm. so they go out in the ocean now i've been on a uh, dolphin watch and the dolphins are plentiful around here the porpoises yeah yes sometimes they get kind of hung up in our little inland waters and we have to shoo them back out yeah so i'm really looking forward to seeing a whale in in the wild so until then i have this lovely mural right (laughs) where i can see one in Atlantic City. Yeah. Now, are there any other That's projects great. planned for you here in Atlantic City? No, not at the moment. Maybe maybe later. That would be really nice. Okay. I'd love to work here again. Now, other than Atlantic City, do you have any projects going on that we should be aware of? Oh, good. Um, I'm working on a terrazzo installation at the El Paso International Airport. Okay. And that's a more that's a floor design. Uh, I'm working with two other uh, public artists out of Houston, and uh, Recite and they're making a, so it's kind of like a floor piece that that it's a continuation of a floor piece I did in the baggage claim area and uh, they're building a new wing and uh, they brought the design over into that area as well okay. uh, I collected quotes from around the region of what people loved and their favorite memories of the, the area yes. and had them engraved and, and embedded in the floor at, as you walk through a river scene oh, wow. so uh, it's like an abstracted river scene Mm -hmm. and so as they're waiting for their bags before they go out into the city they read what everybody loves about it okay that's that sounds very interesting yeah it's really beautiful we can go uh on the internet and see some photos of the existing project that you did yes uh actually if you go to my website mitsuoverstreet.com okay it'll i have pictures of uh the installation there and it talks about uh the process i worked with the community and now with this of mural and the magnitude of it and you have the arches individually so was that more of a challenge for you and instead of having just one long piece yeah well we, we started with the sketch that encompassed the whole building first and then from based on that sketch we went in, we zeroed in on on each individual panel mm-hmm. and built on top of that that was pretty much the rendering process so we it, it flowed really nicely now, how long did it take you to do this project? From the um, time of, of you sketching it to it hanging right here? Um, well, maybe I shouldn't say hanging because it probably was rolled up until it got to be hung. No, they they printed them and installed them as they I guess, as the each each piece was developed by Big Mountain. I think as they cranked them out, they went and installed it. This is on vinyl uh, weatherproof mesh, and I, I did it out of my... I designed and painted the whole project in my studio in Texas. I came out to visit, took photos, and uh, got to experience some of the, the culture here. Yes. And, um, and from there, I went back and continued to work on, on uh, the sketching process and develop the whole concept and mm-hmm. rendered it. Well, I have to ask you something. Have you ever visited our uh, Marine Stranding Center over in Brigantine? No, I've read about it though. Right, yeah. they are the uh, place on the East Coast for when they bring in injured animals, sea animals, and what have you, ah. seals, and they're out like the ambulance awesome. to go help these creatures. Wow. Another interesting place here in Atlantic City would be Gardner's Basin. Did you go to a trip up there in the inlet? Uh, Gardner's Basin. It's all the way at the northern tip of the island. Okay, is it where that Brigantine Bridge is? 
you can see the Brigantine Bridge from there, but okay. that's where our clammers are. Uh -huh. We have one of the largest clamming fleets oh. on the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. We also have some of the last of the lobster trappers in New Jersey uh -huh. right there. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So it's th this island, Apsican Island, is really a place to take some time and explore when you're yeah. talking about the sea life. I got to experience um, by Harris on, around that area where that... Uh, there's a the walkway. The, yes, the, the walkway. Walk. Uh huh. The art, the art walk. walk. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where a lot of the, like the the imagery came from from the grassland part mm -hmm. on, on on the Pacific side. Then you got to see some of the birds that migrate. Oh there. yeah, no, there's, yes. it's beautiful. Yeah. No, and some of my reading, I saw that there was like uh, the snow geese that were were hanging out in the area. Yes. So I wanted to highlight those. The the herons, definitely the herons yes. and the grasslands are beautiful. You know, uh -huh. there's so many beautiful birds around here. I got one of those little books, Audubon books, to uh -huh. tell me what each oh, creature awesome. was and identify them. It just got me more confused. <laughs> really? <laughs> so it's in my trunk somewhere now. <laughs> oh, no. Those are great, though. I love those. I, I have the same thing. And I have I it on insects. just how in many it. different species of a gull there are. Or oh, how many right. different species of a... Uh, 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 there's a hawk around here that name me. Red tail. The red tail? I Is think it's a red one? tail. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go. And uh -huh. thank you so much. Thank you for this beautiful art piece. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time with me. Yeah, definitely. My name is Simone. Simone, that's right. And that, speak easy with Simone. Speak easy yeah. with Simone. Uh -huh. And that kind of sews it up here in Atlantic City at the Boardwalk Hall. Awesome.